Meanwhile, insurgent car bombs killed dozens of people today in the Iraqi cities of Tel Afar and Ramadi. Violence claimed six lives in Baghdad, where a massive security crackdown is underway. Senator John McCain suggests that crackdown is already working. I asked him about that in the last hour. Here's uh, what you told Bill Bennett on his radio show yeah. uh, on Monday. There are neighborhoods in Baghdad where you and I could walk through those neighborhoods today. The U.S. Yep. is beginning to succeed in Iraq. Uh, be, you know, everything we hear that if you leave the so-called green zone, the international zone, and you go outside of uh, that secure area, relatively speaking, you're in trouble if you're an American. I, you know, that's where you ought to catch up on things, Wolf. Uh, General uh, Petraeus goes out there almost every day in an unarmed um, um, V. Why I think you ought to catch up. You see, you are giving the old line of three months ago. I understand it. You certainly don't get it through the filter of some of the media. But I know for a fact of much of the success we're experiencing, including the ability of Americans in many parts. Not all. We've got a long, long way to go. We only got two of the five brigades there to go into some neighborhoods in Baghdad in a secure fashion. Senator John McCain, a Republican presidential candidate, speaking here in the Situation Room within the past hour. Let's go live to Baghdad right now. Seeing as Michael Ware is standing by. Michael, you've been there, what, for four years. You're walking around Baghdad on a daily basis. Uh, has there been this improvement that Senator McCain is speaking about? Well, I'd certainly like to bring Senator McCain up to speed if he ever gives me the opportunity. And if I have any difficulty hearing you right now, Wolf, that's because of the helicopters circling overhead and the gun battle that is blazing away just a few blocks down the road. Is Baghdad any safer? Sectarian violence, one particular type of violence, is down. But none of the American generals here on the ground have anything like Senator McCain's confidence. I mean, Senator McCain's credibility now on Iraq, which has been so solid to this point, is now being left out hanging to dry to suggest that there's any neighbourhood in this city where an American can walk freely is beyond ludicrous. I'd love Senator McCain to tell me where that neighbourhood is and he and I can go for a stroll. And to think that David, General David Petraeus travels this city in an unarmed Humvee. I mean, in the hour since Senator McCain has said this, I've spoken to some military sources and there was laughter down the line. I mean, certainly the, the general travels in a Humvee. There's multiple Humvees around it, heavily armed. There's attack helicopters, predator drones, sniper teams, all sorts of layers of protection. So no, Senator McCain is way off base on this one, Wolf. Michael, when, when Senator McCain says that there are at least some areas of Baghdad where people can walk around, and, uh, and the, whether it's General Petraeus, the U.S. military commander, or others, uh, are there at least some areas where you could emerge outside of the green zone, the international zone, where people can go out, to go to a coffee shop, go to a restaurant, and, and simply take a stroll? I can answer this very quickly, Wolf. No. No way on earth can a Westerner, particularly an American, stroll any street of this capital of more than five million people. I mean, if Al-Qaeda doesn't get wind of you, or if one of the Sunni insurgent groups don't descend upon you, or if someone doesn't tip off a Shia militia, then the nearest criminal gang is just going to see dollar signs and scoop you up. Honestly, Wolf, you barely last 20 minutes out there. I don't know what part of Neverland Senator McCain is talking about when he says we can go strolling in Baghdad. What about